Hello everybody. Yeah, we uh, we got some stuff in. I've been talking to JTS and said, hey guys, you know, I know you got a bunch of cool stuff over there and we haven't put our hands on any of it. We really would like to. And I had a good talk with Dave and Dave said, yeah, we need to get you some stuff. And uh, yeah, he sent us some stuff. Uh, let's unbox it. Okay, um, I actually don't know what they sent. I haven't looked at any packing, anything. Um, I guess we could start with this guy. Let's go here. And I hope you guys are enjoying the studio. Um, I've still got some things to pick up. I'm waiting for some new lights to come in. It's late right now. We're actually at, it's about 10 o'clock at night, but it's awesome. I'm right here in my shop and I can do this, which is it's like super cool. All right, this is, uh, okay. This is one of their newish brake barrels. Let's see. So I told them, send me more than just, um, let's see, is there anything else in here? Just paper. Okay, that was easy. Okay, um, it looks like we got one of their new um, artisan lines, is that what they're calling this? Uh, artisan air guns, cool. Um, it's a thousand foot per second, I put that in air quotes. Uh, looks like a brake barrel, kind of a cool tactical stock. Obviously we'll be playing with this. I told them, send me what you got. Brake barrels, PCPs, pellets, I got 30 pellets. I just want to have a variety uh, of cool new stuff that we can play with. And there's something for everybody in the Aragon world, right? So if a 177 brake barrel isn't for you, it's probably pretty cool for somebody else. And that's why we like covering a wide variety of different things. All right, so that's the first thing. All right, I'm wondering what I should do here. Let's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dump this off the side of the table. Okay, so we can focus on just one. What do you guys think? Uh, yeah, again, I'm not sure what's in here. Well, let's check, let's take a look. Okay, um, open that up. Let's see here. Okay. All right. All right. What do we got here? Uh, so this looks like Aracuda? Let's see, no. No, no, this is it, Aracuda. It's upside down, I can't read upside down. Aracuda. Now, I've got, we've done stuff with the Aracuda already, right? So this is Aracuda. So I wonder if this is just the regular one. I don't know, we're, we're gonna get in here. Okay. Wow, okay, so we got a bunch of stuff in here. There's that one. Ugh. Okay. Oh goodness, what did they send? Uh, okay. Oh. I don't know what they got here. Um. All right, so we'll open these up and find out. Goodness. Okay. So it says 2225. I don't know what that means. Um, let's see. This one says 2225. I don't know if they just reuse these boxes. Let's take a look. Could be really nice when we have that overhead camera. Okay, we have here. Man, I like when companies pack stuff like this. All right, we have a standard Aracuda in 25 is what I have. Now I've have I've shot the 20, 22. But I've not shot the 25 in this. And the reason I asked for these is that the last guns I had, I was shooting. They were all pre-production. I want to shoot production guns just to see how they're doing. Got our, our magazines, spare parts. Okay. So this is a, this is the unregulated variable power side lever. Awesome. That's 25. 
That's gonna be fun. Okay. Okay, all right. We can cut out all of this uh, extra stuff and just keep the good stuff, right? All the cool guns we got in. Um, let's see, is this Aracuda again? Okay, we'll flip it around here. You guys can see it or not, but I'll tip it over. Okay. Um, this is uh, another Aracuda. This one is 22. All right, so we got a 22 and a 25. Awesome. Um, again, these are the production ones, so I can actually, uh, instead of having the pre-production ones, I'll have the production ones. It can like I'll know exactly what you guys would get if you bought them. Now the cool thing about these guns, and one of the reasons I, I went to JTS, hey guys, we got to do something here. Uh, you know, it uh, things are getting expensive, right? Um, and air guns are getting expensive. And I am all I love my high end air guns. They're awesome. I love shooting them. You know, I, you know the, I think the most expensive gun I have is probably the Red Wolf, um, which is, I don't know, what is, it, what is that today, 2,800 bucks? It's a lot of money, right? Um, I have also the FX35, all sported out. That's probably 23, 24. I mean, yeah, we've got, I've got some expensive guns, um, but I, I'm, you know, extremely spoiled that way. Uh, some of them I've paid for, some of them I've worked for. Um, I don't get anything for free, guys. <laughs> it's actually a misconception. I do get stuff I don't pay for in money, but believe me, I pay for it in sweat and energy and work. And when we publish material, I'm paying somebody to do that. So I don't get anything for free. I work for it. I work hard for it. But if you're spending your money, you know, huh? Do you want to like, I, I look, if I had to buy an air gun, it's probably not going to be a 20 or 2200 or $3,000 air gun. It's probably going to be a sub $1,000 gun. And I'm going to try and get the most bang for the buck, right? I mean, that's what we do. Isn't that what we do as air gunners? Try and get the most bang for the buck. So JTS, their, their PCPs, these Aracudas and the Aracuda Max are really nice air guns. I mean, they have a, a ton of really good features. Um, the the pre-production guns were great and I'm really excited to shoot the production guns. Okay, this is a Max, yes. This one is a 22. Now I have not shot the 22 Max, so that's gonna be new for me. So the difference between the, the Max and the standard, you guys um, didn't know, the standard is not regulated and the Max is regulated. Both of them have adjustable hammer springs, it's a really nice stock. This has dual gauges, so you can see exactly where you're at. Um, yeah. Uh, real, ooh, it's a shortish pull, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, that's really nice. They did a good job on the stocks. I like the sort of rough, not rough finish, but just, just stained finish. I really like it. Okay. We got a whole nother box to go through. So, so far we've got 22 and 25 Aracudas, and we've got a 22 Aracuda Max. So, very cool stuff. Okay, let's see what else we got. That's gonna be enough to keep me busy for a while, <laughs> but we're not done yet. Oh, this one's as heavy, okay. Oh wait. Ugh. Okay, let me check something real quick. I'm thinking about doing like, I don't know if it's gonna be daily, but like a regular sort of behind the scenes of, of what it's like to do this work and live where we live and do the things we do out here. Cause we're not in town. I mean, we are 18, 20 miles from the interstate, which is our main artery to go do anything. So it's, it's a haul out here. So just when I went to pick these up today, I have to go all the way to town to pick them up. So it's an hour in to pick this stuff up. But anyway, I, I don't know if you guys would find that interesting or absolutely uh, kill me now boring. I don't know, <laughs> let me know. Cause I was thinking about it today and it, I don't know, it might be fun for you guys to kind of ride around the truck with me when I go to town and, and talk about, and think about air guns and the next batch of work we gotta do. All right, let's get back to work here. 
All right, next box. By the way, we're also gonna be moving our live show to this side and we're gonna get our gear up that we use for Ergon Expo and start using that. I'm excited about that too. So, all right, here we go, come on, there it is. Ah, okay. All right, this doesn't have as many guns in it. This, oh, I bet you this has got, I bet you this has got some pellets in it. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Okay, I know we got it. Cool, that's why it was heavy. All right, so we have another, well, let's talk about these first. We're gonna be set for pellets. Um, I've been wanting to test the dead centers for a while and I didn't have any of the production ones. I had some samples. Um, in fact, one of my next videos I'm gonna do for air arms, we're gonna test these pellets, not the 25s, 22s. And that, which should be fun. Here's the 22s. So we've got some pellets to shoot, which is awesome. Um, and I do believe, I don't know, maybe I can't say it. I think there's more to come. That's all I'm gonna say. More to come. All right, here's our next artisan rifle, which is their brake barrels. And then we have our final, and I bet you, uh, it's not one to come out of the box. I bet you this is another Max and just 25. So this is what I asked for. Sometimes you, you make a request to a company, you ask for, you know, the stuff you, you're gonna need to really kind of do the things you wanna do. You don't always get it. Um, all right. So here we are, this is the, I'm gonna take this one out of the box. Is this one looks kind of cool? Let's see here. This is a, like a compact little, compact little brake barrel. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, I mean, if you can cock the thing, I don't know how much, how much force it takes, but I mean, how fun is that for the backyard, right? So that's gonna be, okay, so we got this, we got some flip up sights. Oh, absolutely. Um, that's not a functioning safety. <laughs> There's our safety. Yeah, oh, look, these are not gonna be uh, top shelf. Um, that's got a little bit of flex to it. I wonder if it's got some, that, uh, I bet you that's got a recoil reducing function to it. All right, we'll play with this later. But yeah, this kind of stuff to me is just fun to get your hands on and uh, plink around the backyard, but I can see a bunch of maybe water balloons and tin cans and all kinds of fun stuff getting shredded with something like that. All right, put this back. Let me just double check that the next one definitely is the Air Cuda Max and we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Come on, get it. What is this? Oh, it's like a little faux magazine. How cool is that? Okay. Yeah, we'll have fun with that. Recoilless, all right, so it does have a recoilless system. That's interesting, because I'm right now testing the uh, Norinka, or the Norica, not Norica, the Norica, um, what's the name of that doggone thing? The Omnia ZRS, so I've got that in for testing. That's a very cool gun. This says recoilless right here on the box. We're gonna, we're gonna try it out and see how it does. Cool. I'm all for it. Anything that can make a brake barrel shoot better. Awesome. All right, so we got our pellets. Boy, that's heavy, right? Um, where do I put them? Let's put them over here. And then our last gun here. All right. Okay. There we go. I really, really like the packaging. Um, I've gotten a lot of air guns shipped to me over the years. And uh, the percentage of those that come in the internals of the box are completely shredded. It's better than 50%. <laughs> so to see somebody take the time on a gun that I think these are what? I have to look up, they're not expensive. I need to look up the pricing because I don't know, but under $500 for the max for sure. Um, and you know, under three or around, maybe around three for the standard. I have to, I have to look at the pricing. Um, all right, so this one is a, yeah, okay. So 25 Aracuda Max, 
Yeah. So let me just take this out for a minute. That is great. I did some work for a gentleman. I tried to do some work for a gentleman. He shipped me a gun that was like, can't get parts for it. And I was gonna try and use what spare parts I have for Evidex to make it work. But when I got it, um, even though he had packed it reasonably well, it was the stock had been trashed. And if you have ever watched some behind the scenes of UPS and these guys, these long skinny boxes get run through all manner of twists and turns and wood stocks will get chewed up. I don't know how many Marauders have been just destroyed by those, but something like this packaging isn't gonna, that's not gonna happen, which is really cool. Okay, or at least it shouldn't happen. Far less probability of it happening. Um, all right, so this, um, yeah, they did change the fill to 3200. It has an end cap for a moderator. I do really like the side lever. I like that they have this little drop part on it, like a, like a T handle, um, adjustable trigger. Again, you can adjust the hammer spring. You're not really supposed to go in and adjust the moderator. I mean, not the moderator, but the regulator. I mean, if you're if you're technically savvy and have know how to do it, you certainly can, but they don't recommend it. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, for the money, I know the 25 I have has shot really well, and I'm really excited to start shooting the production models. Guys, that's gonna be it. So we got a bunch of stuff in from JTS. And I'm excited to show you guys and talk to you guys about it and, and go out and do a little shooting. And hopefully if everything goes well, I'll be doing some shooting tomorrow. So I'm excited about that too. Probably throw some ATNs on here just so we can see the footage to the scope. I think that'll be cool. Guys, that's gonna be it. If you like this kind of stuff or you wanna see more studio related content, you know, give me some ideas down in the comments and I'll certainly consider them. I really appreciate all of you guys, all the viewers that come and watch and spend time with us here on the channel. And please remember our other channels. We have Modern Air Gunner, and we also have The Gateway to Air Gun. So check those out. Tons of content going up all the time. We have at least two videos going up on GTA, one on Modern Air Gunner. And when I'm back and healthy again, still dealing with the side effects from the chemo. So that's that's been tough. But as I get stronger and I'm able to do more, we'll get back up to doing two to three videos a week on Air Gun Web. So I'm pumped about all of this, I'm excited. I'm excited to have this space and be able to do these kinds of videos because we're gonna to get to see some really cool stuff. Guys, that's gonna be it. My name's Rick Utzer here with Aragon Web. Thanks for watching.